obviously credit Dan and their group. Um, you know, they kind of, they ended up getting control of the game and, you know, we thought we hung in there and, and did some, you know, decent things, although defensively stops in the red zone, the turnovers, you know, obviously were positive things, but, you know, had the one drive on offense in the second quarter where we got the running game kind of going, but really it was more of a game of missed opportunities for us. You know, really couldn't make any plays in a passing game. You know, couldn't, I don't think we, you know, we I don't think we protected very well on third down and couldn't stay on the field. So um, eventually, you know, they, they ended up having the ball obviously way more than we did and then kind of turned into the running game and wore us down there. So, um, you know, not, not good enough. Um, you know, we're going to have to be able to pass the ball here uh, better than what we're doing in order to win. <clears throat> game and everyone can call themselves accountable but the play from Jimmy uh, tonight like yeah. you said there, there, there were plays out there to be made that yeah. either weren't made or turnovers yeah I'm not going to make excuses for any of that um, you know I thought we had I thought we did have some opportunities you know and um, um, you know and then there was other plays where we didn't have an opportunity you know so um, you know we'll have to look at all the film and, and see all that but I didn't think there was um, you know, we ha I think we had some opportunities to make more plays than what we did, and we just didn't convert on them. So uh, there was probably a number of reasons for that. <clears throat> Going to Aiden? Aiden? No, I didn't. I didn't think about that today. I mean, you know, we're kind of grinding through it. You know, and he got hit obviously on the roughing the passer. You know, that was the only time. But um, you know, it was still a one-score game for a little while there. Obviously, 16-14, and then. Uh, we just, you know, we just couldn't string together enough plays in the passing game to really make it, you know, tighter than what it was. Josh, on October 1st, after Aiden's game, you said playing quarterback in this league starts with protecting the football. Yep. Through eight games, yep. Jimmy hasn't played in two and a half, and he's leading the NFL yeah. in interceptions. Is that something that's gonna ha that you're gonna have to take a longer look at? Yeah, I mean, look, we can't win if we give the ball away. You know, what I mean, period. Um, you know, and I'm not, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of things that go into that. I just want to make sure I say that. There's a lot of things that go into that. So, you know, protection, routes, reads, um, you know, throws, catches, you know, all that stuff. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we, we have to be able to take care of the ball. Um, and we don't, we don't fumble. You know, we haven't fumbled this year. So we, we know, the quarterback room knows we have to take care of the ball better than what we have. I thought the defense gave us great opportunities to, you know, we won the turnover margin tonight, but, you know, we end up not being able to win the game. So, um, which is, you know, kind of a rarity, you know, but that speaks to the issues we had in the passing game. <clears throat> There's only so much you can kind of do in game with adjustments and stuff, talk about the quarterback, but it's been half the season now with this offense kind of underperforming. I'm sure you've been through, yeah. the offense is not clicking the level you want. What are some of the big changes you can make based on your past? And I think you got to look at a lot of things, but like, you know, if there was one thing, you know, if there's one thing that we needed to do just a little bit better, then, you know, that would be simple. Um, I think it's a combination of a lot of little things. Uh, again, tonight there was times where we protected well and we, we had plays, we made plays. There was times where we ran the ball effectively. Uh, and then there was times where there was other things that were the problem. So um, I've always said good offensive football, good defensive football, good special teams football is a result of 11 guys really taking ownership of their job, uh, being put in a good position, you know, by the coaching staff, which that's, you know, the always something you look at too. Um, and then having an opportunity to go out there and string together positive plays, but it's going to take a lot of you on every play to do that. So um, we obviously didn't do good enough of that tonight. You've seen some dynamic offense in your day. You've orchestrated some dynamic offense in your day. What did you see from Jameer Gibbs tonight that was just frustrating for you guys? Yeah, I thought he stuck with it. You know, I thought we were decent early in the game. Um, but this guy, you know, he's a talented player. You know, they obviously they drafted him where they did because he's he's got a really dynamic skill set. And, um, you know, again, they were able to control the game enough to give him the ball whatever it was, 20-some times in order for him to create some of those plays. You know, I thought our run defense was decent early, but, you know, anytime you have to be on the field for as long as we were, you know, you give the other team opportunities, and I thought he took advantage of them. Yeah, I mean, look, he, 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 can, he can do what he can do, you know, and um, I've said this before, you know, receivers obviously are um, – they're the last in the, in the, in the chain, you know, and, and they got to do their job, but – there's a lot of things that have to happen before that the ball gets to them. And I thought he had, you know, he got himself open a handful of times and had a few opportunities, you know, and he got one tipped, you know, overthrew a couple that would have been maybe big plays. But, 
um, look, at the end of the day, you just got to keep working and, and try to do your job the best you can. You know, you, we, we can't control one another's jobs, but we have to try to work and continue to improve each, each, each one of us. And I think he does that. I thought he had a great week of practice, and, and he'll continue to do that. I know him. He's a true pro. Coach, I know you're only eight games in. you still got nine left. But I'm, at this point in the season, when the offense hasn't taken off, mm -hmm. do you have to look at everything? Do you stay the course? Yeah, we should, Hondo. Honestly, we should. I mean, it's just it's not productive enough, you know. So, you know, whether it, it doesn't matter, you pick a pick a winner. You know what I mean? Honestly, um, we have to be able to produce more points in order to win games in this league. And right now, we're not doing that. And so, uh, that's obviously my responsibility. And we'll take a look at everything we're doing. Uh, everybody that's doing it, you know, and try to figure out if there's a better way, you know, and uh, that's what we can do, you know. And again, you're right. There's there's still nine games to go, you know. So we have a lot of football left. Um, we have played stretches of good football, but you know, certainly not consistently enough. Maybe change that quarterback. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Yeah. That's good. Thanks. Coach. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you just said, I mean, you have good good days and bad days. Today was a bad day. Uh, no sugarcoating it. I mean, it is what it is. So, just got to play better. I mean, myself, I, I have to play better. Uh, there's a bunch of little things, but, you know, that will solve a lot of problems. Good. Good. Just a little pissed off from the game, but, yeah, physically I'm fine. You've missed two and a half games and lead the NFL in interceptions. What do you have to do to repair and fix that? Just got to be smart. Uh, take the chances when they're there. Uh, when they're not, just be smart with it and you know find the outlet, things like that. There's no uh, nothing crazy about it. I mean, it's pretty black and white. Just got to be smart with the football. What's that call and stay that pressure of the offense so much? Uh, I mean, they. they they got after us up front a little bit. Uh, I didn't get the ball out on time. So just little things like that. Thought they had a, they had a good plan. I mean, that's a, that's a good defense, a uh, good team over there. So when you come into their place and don't play to par, um, you know, it's tough to win. Jimmy, there's uh, been a lot of talk of defenses stacking the box to stop Josh. And it looked like you took a deep shot you know, on the first throw of the game. Is that um, something you guys want to work on and, and continue to try to do, is, is to get the ball downfield more? Yeah, I mean, there's opportunities. <clears throat> we got the players for it. Um, you know, just all the, all those things. I think uh, yeah, we got to. I mean, it's the NFL. You get, you got to be able to push the ball down the field. Got to be able to run it. Just keep the defense on their heels like that. So we just uh, got to keep plugging away, man. We got some work to do. You feel like you're doing a little, playing a little catch up. You know, you missed the offseason and training camp was a little start and stop, and obviously the, the way the season has gone, uh, gone on. Do you yeah, feel like that in a little way. I mean. I, I'm not, I'll never make an excuse like that. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We're in, we're in the season now. People don't care if you have excuses or not. Uh, so you just, you got to go out there and play. I got to play better. Um, and it's just, it's just a bunch of little things, man. I mean, it's, it's frustrating. You have the good days, you have the bad days, but, um, you know, we just got to string them together. We got to come out here and play better. There's just so much, uh, so much love in that locker room, man. It, su it sucks that we perform like that tonight. Seemed like you were getting hit more frequently as the game went on, as you guys were trying to come back. Uh, did, did something change, or what happened to get this, such consistent pressure? No, I mean, uh, like I said before, they had a good scheme, good uh, good package for us. So you got to tip your hat to them a little bit. But just, um, we just got to play better, man. I mean, I got to get the ball out on time, help the line out. And, uh, you know, we're all in this thing together. Yeah, your first loss to the Lions is harder <coughs> than here before. Was this the loudest it's ever been since you've uh, played with them? Uh, at times, yeah, at, at times it was pretty loud. Um, it was honestly pretty, pretty chill to start the game. But uh, yeah, a couple of those backed up situations was pretty loud out there. Jimmy, when, you, when you're not able to get the, the receivers involved in the first half, I mean, how detrimental is that to the game plan going forward? It's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, just, I mean, especially we've got such a talented, talented group in there. Um, guys can do a lot of different things, and you know, we just gotta. Got to use those guys to our advantage. Get the, give them the ball in space. Let them go run with it. Things like that. And uh, like I said before, it starts with me, man. So.